Ontario market there. We should uh, do a shout out to Flamborough and uh, the Confederation Cup there last night. I know we were talking about a lot of talk about that last race. We're not going to get into it, Bo, but at the end of the day, uh, from everyone there, uh, looked to be a big crowd on, on site there. The camera angles are a little weird in that track. We must say, we were saying that a little earlier, but if anybody knows how to get around it, Paul McKenzie certainly does with the most wins there. But we're getting around the Summerside track here today in opening day, and we're back upstairs to Vance Cameron. Windermere Johnny do well, Hill Harden Gods. The Gormanizer, Wilson Frost, Blue Meadow, Willie, a half a dozen noses on the gate. Seventh race post time. They're off and pacing. Windermere, Johnny, and Wilson Frost are the first two out. Do well, Hill, third into the turn, away fourth. That's hard and got. Fifth is the Gormanizer and Blue Meadow Willie will size them up from the back as they arrive at the opening eight. Windermere Johnny will lead it for Gary Chapel. Wilson Frost tucked away second. Back into third is Duell Hill, then Harding got fourth. Racing from fifth, the Gormanizer. Then the trailer is Blue Meadow Willie. So they're over to the opening quarter. Windermere Johnny, the fraction setter. On his back in the two hold is Wilson Frost. 30 seconds flat was the opening quarter. Still the gap back. Back to third, Duell Hill is there. Racing around the turn fourth is Harding Gotts, the Gormanizer fifth, and Blue Meadow Willie sees them all. They're straightening down the stretch towards the half mile they come, led by Windermere Johnny. Wilson Frost getting the trip. Duell Hill continuing third with Harding Gotts fourth, the Gormanizer fifth, and the trailer. That is Blue Meadow Willie. They arrived at the opening half mile with Windermere Johnny, the leader, in 101 and 2. Tracking in the two hold is Wilson Frost. Duell Hill continuing third. Harden Gotch is fourth on the outside. At the rail, the Gormanizer fifth. And Blue Meadow Willie still the trailer. They're halfway up the back stretch. They go to three quarters next. Windermere Johnny getting them there. Wilson Frost continues the rail ride in the two hole. Third on on the outside is Duell Hill. Harden Gotch is fourth. Three quarters in on. 31 and two. 30 seconds flat in the third. Eighth of a mile left. And can Johnny and Chapel see it through today? Wilson Frost has had a perfect ride. Duell Hill on the outside. Third. Harden Gotch fourth. Deep in the stretch now. Johnny on the outside. Wilson Frost. Welcome to Summerside. He'll get there. Wilson and Frost and McPherson on the line. Windermere Johnny second. Looked like Harding got third. 2 all, one and three. Well, we talked about newcomers in this race, and uh, Wilson Frost is a newcomer, and he tracked the leader bow all the way through those fractions, uh, 30 seconds, 101 and 2, 131 and 2, and he was able to angle up that inside lane here. Yeah, four for four in the top four this year, was able to get a perfect pocket ride. Windermere Johnny was able to cut all the numbers. He just got a little tired late, first start off the bench, and that allowed Wilson Frost to capitalize up the uh, passing lane. Been a lot of great Blissful Hall horses uh, racing both Summerside and Charlottetown over the years, a couple of Governor's Plate winners, so it's uh, good to see a son of Blissful Hall get a win here on opening day. Wilson Frost and Corey McPherson. Wilson Frost will make his Summerside debut, a winning one this afternoon. He's going to the winner's circle. Pacing Gray Gelding, a seven-year-old son of Blissful Hall, is from the Log Dam, Miko and Tumba. 
Owned by Chris Davies, Carol Wright, and Michael Falcons. Trained by Dwayne McCachran in the hands of Corey McPherson this afternoon, stopping the clock in 201 and 3. That's Wilson Frost in the seventh. 